Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 8, leçon E. And in this lesson we'll discover together l'imparfait. So we saw previously le passé composé, so this past tense uh, that we use quite often. And this is the second one, so l'imparfait. And in this video we'll see together the first part, l'utilisation, so when do we use l'imparfait. Okay, and then the second part will be la formation. So how do we build, how do, do we construct this uh, imparfait form? Okay, so, but then let's focus now on l'utilisation. So when do we use l'imparfait? And then the first situation when we will use l'imparfait will be if you want to describe something in the past. Une description dans le past. Okay, so if you want to describe something in the past, like in this example here, la pièce, the room, était, so that's the verb here, the verb is to be, okay, and it's the, uh, the imparfait form, était, grande, big, et sombre, dark, okay, so in that case you want to describe the room, then you should use l'imparfait. Second situation, une habitude dans le passé, so a, a habit, something that you, you are used to do in the past, okay? And the example is, je partais, partir is to leave, okay? And it's the imparfait form here, le matin, the morning, à 8 heures. Okay, so in that case, you want to say that it's an habit, something that you do in the past, then you should use l'imparfait, okay? Other situation, when you will need to use l'imparfait, une répétition dans le passé. Okay, so répétition, you understand, something that repeats itself dans le passé. The example here, nous allions tous les soirs au restaurant. Okay, so aller is to go tous les soirs, okay, so every evening au restaurant. All right, so something that you do and that repeats itself in the past. And then, if you want to say something that lasts, durées to last, in the past, dans le passé, then, in that case, this uh, sentence is quite interesting because I've been, I wanted to, to make the difference between the use of the, the, the imparfait here, okay, and then here, here you've got the passé composé form, all right? So, je regardais la télé, sur la télévision, all right, so in that case, you tend to use, of course, l'imparfait because it lasts <laughs> a while uh, when you watch TV. So if it's a movie or something like that. Quand, when, tu as appelé, okay? So uh, appelé is to call, call on the phone, for instance, okay? So in that case, you want to make the difference between something that happens and it's uh, an action. So tu as appelé, okay? And then here, you use l'imparfait, well, because... It lasts longer. Okay, so je regardais la télé quand tu as appelé. All right? And then we've got another structure. So if you want to insist on the fact that something uh, it, well lasts and then something uh, continues, then we've got this structure. Être, so it's to be, être en train de, okay? And then you will put l'infinitive form after that, so the basic form. All right, so an example here as well. So I wanted to make the difference as well with, you know, between the, the, the um, passé composé form here. Je n'ai pas répondu. Répondre is to answer, okay? Car, because, j'étais en train de faire mes devoirs, okay? So faire mes devoirs, to do my homework, okay? And then in that case, you use this structure, j'étais en train de... Because you want to say that, well, it lasts, okay? It's quite long. It's not something that will take one minute or two minutes, but it's longer than that, okay? So that's uh, the reason why we use this j'étais en train de faire, so était en train de, as we saw here, okay? So you will have to use this verb être, okay? But then at the imparfait form, of course, okay? So, and then one thing that you should keep in mind is that être... So to be, croire, to believe, penser, to think, savoir, to know, are often, 
and it's quite important souvent often so it's not always okay because uh you it's not possible to say always especially if you're talking about french grammar okay but uh often you use them at uh, l'imparfait form okay now let's see how to construct uh this imparfait okay so I've been taking some verbs from, from the first group and then the second and the third group, okay? If you remember, we've got three groups of verbs in, uh, in French. So the first one, uh, regarder, so is to watch, okay? And then I've been putting this new form at the present. For a good reason, you will see why a bit later. So you should know the present form of regarder and it goes like nous Regardons, so that's the present form. Nous regardons, okay. For the second group, I've been taking finir, finir to finish, to end, okay. Same thing. You will put this new form at the present. Nous finissons, okay. And then for the third group of verbs, I took prendre. Prendre is to take, okay. And it goes like nous prenons. All right, so nous regardons, nous finissons, nous prenons. So the reason why I wanted you to see the new form is just because that's the form we will use to construct the imparfait. Okay, so the thing will be to take away the ending of nous. And the ending of nous, it's O-N-S like you saw here, here, and here. So the idea is that this ending, you will take it away, okay? Then, that's the thing we will keep. Regarde, like that, without the ending for nous. Finis, without the ending for nous. And then prun, without the ending, okay? And after that, you will add the endings for l'imparfait and they will be like for je a i s for tu a i s for il or elle a i t for nous i o n s for vous i e z and for il elle at the plural a i e n t all right, so now if you, uh, or if we talk about the pronunciation, um, the good thing is that this will be pronounced E, this will be pronounced E, obviously, because you write it the same way, this will be pronounced E as well. So final S and final T are not pronounced, and this is pronounced the same way. And the good news is that this form a e e n t is pronounced e as well okay so we've got e here e e and then e okay so that's quite easy to produce i mean it's not normal it's not uh, a big difficulty for the the students to 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 make this e sound okay and then for nous it will be so if you remember correctly so final s is not pronounced here Okay, and then this O-N, so it's a nasal and it goes in your nose and it goes like on, all right? So you don't hear any N, so it's really on, okay? When you add this E before, okay, you will get the Y, Y sound. So you get Yon, Yon, that's the full form, okay? Yon, and then Y here, okay? So E, E, E. Ion, ye, e. All right? So now, je, regarde. And then, e. So that's the full form that you, you will have. And then, you will pronounce it, je, regardais. All right? So if we had the example for finir, it was finis. Remember this form that we got from the new form of the present, okay, so finis, and then you add E, je finissais, all right, and then the last verb we had was prendre, if I remember correctly, yes, and it was 
Prun, okay, the form that we got when we took away this ONS ending from the present, okay, so Prun, and then you add your ending, eh? Je prenais. Okay, so let's see how it goes for uh, all the forms. So, je regardais, so it's uh, regarder, to watch. Tu regardais, il regardait, elle regardait. Nous regardions, vous regardiez, il regardait, elle regardait. Okay, so remember, regardait, 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 and then as well, regardait. And after that, you've got this yon, as I said, regardions, and then yé, regardiez. All right, let's see, finir now. Je finissais, tu finissais, il finissait. Elle finissait, nous finissions, vous finissiez, il finissait, elle finissait. Okay, so same thing here. Have a look. Finissait, 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 same form. And then finissait here, same form. I mean phonetically, okay? And then yon, finition, and then finissiez. All right? And the last verb we had was to take, prendre. Je prenais, tu prenais. Il prenait, elle prenait, nous prenions, vous preniez, il prenait, elle prenait. Okay, so remember that in that case you will have to really pronounce the E uh, like a E. Uh, prenait, all right? So same thing here, final S not pronounced. Je prenais, tu prenais, il prenait, final T not pronounced, so the same form, okay? And then plural, as I said, prenait as well, okay? And here, prenions. Prenier. Okay? And then, of course, of course, avoir and être can be in some cases quite tricky. So that's the reason why um, we'll take a few minutes to watch or to have a look at them. The first one, avoir, and well, it's not that tricky at all because it goes like that. J'avais, tu avais, il avait, elle avait, nous avions, vous aviez, ils avaient, elles avaient. So it is quite easy, honestly, it is quite easy. Just try to remember, especially if you want to use it only orally, then it's quite easy because it's ave, 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 and ave, remember, okay? So j'avais, final S not pronounced, tu avais, il avait, final T not pronounced, nous avions, let's make this beautiful liaison here, nous avions, okay? Vous aviez, same thing here, a little liaison, ils avaient, Elles avaient, okay? And then let's have a look at être. J'étais, tu étais, il était, elle était, nous étions, vous étiez, ils étaient, elles étaient. Okay, same thing, not that difficult at all, and especially if you want to pronounce it, it's not really difficult. J'étais, okay? Remember, here we've got a accent aigu, so it goes like E, all right? J'étais. Okay, tu étais, il était, elle était, nous étions, little liaison here to make it more beautiful, nous étions, okay, final S not pronounced, remember, vous étiez, same thing here, little liaison, and then ils étaient, liaison as well, elles étaient, all right. That was it for l'imparfait. If you're not sure or if you've got few doubts again, don't be afraid to watch the video one more time. So this is the channel here, youtube.com slash imagie if you want more videos. And then the website imagie.net. Uh, don't be afraid to send me a message. Uh, tell me what you think about the, the video. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.